This Clippers team is coming back to Salt Lake City and bringing two wins with them, but will be without Kawhi Leonard as he is out with a right knee injury. We know it's the playoffs, but we're ready. The guys are geared up and we understand the task at hand. It's not going to be a one-man show. It's going to be a team effort. It's about our whole team stepping up and preparing for this game. You know, myself, my coaching staff, and all the players. You know, when we heard the news about Kawhi, nobody panicked. Everybody was like, you know, we've been here before. We know what to do. All season long, this team has been about next man up, and the Clippers are going to have to come up with one of their most improbable and impressive wins of the season here tonight in Utah. It's going to take everyone to continue to stay ready and step up when their number is called. Terrence Mann starting in place of Kawhi Leonard. They're going to have to be at their very best if they want to have a chance to win here in Salt Lake. PG-13 with a bomb for three. Knock away. Put hustle. Man takes it to the rim and lays it in. Bogdanovich splash. Brian Bogdanovich, another corner pop. It's Morris on the right wing with a pump fake and drive middle to the dotted line. Pull up pop is perfect. You are not going to see the ball shot much better than these two teams collectively here tonight. Marcus Morris cans it from the outside. The handles, the fadeaway. Oh, yeah. They came out hot. We just took their blows, we took their punches. Good thing about it was we was able to weather the storm. We came down, we attacked them on offense as well. All George has been terrific here to start, and it's so important that your best player play this way because it gives everybody confidence. Morris launches, he's got it, to cut it to one. And that's how the quarter will end. Kennard dribbles into a right wing three. Oh, Luke Kennard, kaboom. Reggie Jackson, splash from the outside. You know, it was no secret. Um, I knew I had to be big um, tonight and uh, got to be big going forward. George sizing up O'Neal. The drive inside for two and a foul. The strength of Paul George. Driving left, George. Step back, 10-footer on the way. Oh, Paul George. He lost Gobert and has 22. So the Clippers continue to fight next man up mentality and the Clippers will go to the breakdown by just five despite Utah going 17 of 30 from three-point range what's happening is the game slowing down and that's really to the advantage of the Clippers Morris ready fire got it a three Morris drives in over by Dodge for two he has been so good swing it Morris fires Marcus Morris, piping hot from downtown. Ball special. All NBA this year for a reason. He was ready to put the team on his back to carry extra weight, and uh, he showed up and proved why he's one of the best players in this league. George now with Bogdanovich again, five to shoot. Step back, left wing three, over the top. It's good. The man is simply on one with 30 points. With me, you know, I just stay locked in every game. You know, whether it's coming in at the end of the quarter, or, you know, playing minutes like I did tonight. I'm going to just be locked in the whole time. That's just my game. That's how I play. George behind his back to Beverly left wing. He's open. Tees up the three ball and knocks it down. For Patrick Beverly, who is providing a boost. The Clippers are dictating tempo on both ends right now. Long pass. Beverly to Morris, who lays it in. And the Clippers will go to the fourth quarter with a nine-point lead. Critical game five. Winner takes a 3-2 series lead. T. Lou is a pretty even kill dude. Never up, never down. You know, we take his identity throughout the game, game of runs. We never get, you know, rattled. Jackson. Jumper. Bucket. Woo! Reggie Jackson, a contested J. Doesn't it feel like a game seven? In, in a lot of ways, it does. It is because of the significance. The winner of this game is in control. And both teams sense it, they know it. And to come in and play in a hostile environment, you know, 2-2, two -two, you know, in a big playoff moment, you know, when your best player is down, I mean, it just shows a lot about our team. But our players all year long have been great. You know, they've been phenomenal, staying together. You know, no bickering back and forth. When things get tough, and we come together. Top of the key, Jackson, wide open for three. Book it! And the Clippers lead 97-90. Clippers continue to stay disciplined. You know, we face adversity all year. Oh, we're just a team that never goes away. You know, we never give up. You know, Reggie loves this moment. He loves the big stage. I mean, he's not going to shy away from the moment, and that's what we need on the floor tonight. He draws Gobert to the outside. Jackson fires. Come home. Reggie Jackson.
Thompson. If you're the Clippers, it's about execution and finding the matchup that's favorable. Jackson has Gobert on the perimeter. They've attacked him time and time again tonight. Jackson driving middle, bumping with Gobert. Cork screws it up and in with the right hand. Bogdanovich, pure. 107-103, Clippers by four with three minutes remaining. Have to get points here. A lot of us ain't do what Terrence did. That was incredible. That's special. That kid's special. Pump fake, drive middle to the rim. Oh, Terrence Mann slams over Gobert. The kid is fearless. The team continues on to trust me. So, you know, I got to go out there. I got to play. Just continue to be me. Clippers up by four with possession. Isolation for George. George is fouled, and he's got it. Paul George has delivered a classic. 37 points, 16 rebounds. Inspired performance by this entire collective group. Terrific effort from Morris. Reggie Jackson, Terrence Mann. As we've seen all season long, the resilience of this Clippers team is next level. From down 0-2, go up 3-2 on a 119-111 Game 5 win and have a chance to close it out Friday at Staples Center. It's a total team effort, and I'm proud of our guys. We've been in these situations before, you know, where guys had to step up and be ready to play. And um, every guy that played tonight contributed. You know, we all just, you know, stuck together, and um, we found ways to win. And that's what you got to do when you want to compete for a championship. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. Family.